Federal investigators will look into what caused a fiery plane crash that killed a pilot in Fullerton. Yeah, that plane went crashing down just moments after takeoff. CBS 2's Leslie Marin is live at Fullerton Municipal Airport, where investigators will be sorting through the wreckage. Leslie? Suzanne Peter, yeah, we're expecting the FAA and the NTSB both to be out here later this morning. But as the sun is coming up here in Fullerton, we're getting a better look at the wreckage. Take a look. If we can zoom in, you can see what was left of this plane that just burst into flames. Hardly recognizable, mostly left in rubble and ash. But I want to get to some video of the moment that small plane burst into a massive fireball. The fire chief says the flames were so large because the pilot had just fueled up the aircraft. Now the pilot was headed to Heber, Utah. The crash happened, we know, around eight last night when that six-seat Beechcraft Duke was headed uh, or was taking off. Excuse me. According to the chief, the plane was going about 80 miles per hour, 50 feet in the air when it veered left and ended up nose diving right onto the runway. Witnesses described the moments they saw the plane explode. Sounded like a little a very fast race car going by, but something didn't seem right because then after that I heard like a loud thump. My cousins and my aunt and they were yelling like get out because they just saw like this huge cloud of smoke and we just started running out. This is what the 60 Beechcraft Duke would have looked like before the fiery crash. It was left, as you saw, hardly recognizable in rubble ash. Once fire crews were able to put out the flames back out here alive, we are learning a bit about the pilot, although his identity has yet to be released. We know he's possibly in his 50s from Utah. We do know he frequently does fly between Fullerton and Heber City. That is where that plane was headed yesterday. We also know that authorities have been in contact with his wife. Again, we're expecting to learn more information, not only about the pilot, but also about what may have caused this plane to just come crashing down later this morning. That's the latest from Fullerton. Leslie Manning, back to you, Peter.